Hello guys, we are back with the next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to Gate CSC 2014 set to one guys. The question is consider an undirected graph G where self loops are not allowed. Okay, so they are not going to allow any kind of self loop guys. Okay, okay, so they are not going to allow any self loop. The vertex set G is i comma j colon 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to 12 okay so if the set is i comma j so the value of i should range from 1 to 12 and the value of j will also range from 1 to 12 there is an edge in between a comma b and c comma b if and only if the distance from a to c is less than or equal to 1 similarly the distance from b to d is less than or equal to 1 so the number of edges in this particular graph is oh my god the, the question seems to be really interesting right yes okay so a simple trick for these type of questions will be so you can draw a small matrix and you can count it if you want guys okay but i don't recommend that because uh, Okay, so anyway, let us start. So as we move on, we understand the tricks, guys. Okay, so the rule is uh, they are saying and means so both of these should satisfy, right? Yes. So A and C value should be same or the difference of in between them is only one unit, right? Yes. The same concept with B and D as well. Okay, so let me think of it. Okay, and they clearly told that there is no self loop means the same values are not allowed, right? Wow. That's really interesting, right? Because if I put a zero here, okay, so I think we can take one option here, right? Yes, it's really an interesting thing, guys. I'm being uh, clear with you, okay? So we start from a one to two well, okay? So I think drawing a matrix for this will be really interesting, right? So can we really draw with respect to matrix? Yeah, we can draw one. Can we really draw it? Because it is uh, one with two well. And it is 1 with 12 again. So we cannot draw a matrix for this, right? Yes. Okay, so let us think. Okay, so let us start anyway for now. So basically assume that this is a node which is a 1, 1, uh, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. Okay, similarly 2, 1, 3, 1 and so on. Okay, 2, 2, 3, 2, uh, 2, sorry. Yeah, 2, 3, uh, 3, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4, uh, 2, 5, 3, 5. Okay. Yes. So the edge will only exist if the distance between A, C is a 1. So basically these two are allowed. These two are allowed. These two are allowed. Okay. Similarly, these two are allowed. These two are not allowed, right? Yes, because it's an AND operation. So basically the graph will grow in this way, right? Okay, so I think this graph has some sense, right? So it will be in this way, right? Yes. So we are required to count the number of edges. Okay. So that's an interesting thing, right? Yes. Okay. So basically the diagram will look in this way. I hope everyone is understanding, right? Yes. So until uh, where you will go, guys? Uh, until uh, 1, comma 2, well, you will go. So basically how many edges will be here, guys? Uh, so if it is up to 5, there are 1, 2, 3, 4. So if it is up to 12, there will be 11 on this side, right? So the same concept on the above side. So here also you will have 11, right? Yes. So each square. So there will be how many squares, guys? Uh, so if it is a 5 into... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So it is a 4 into 1, 2. 4, 2, sir, it is 8, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is a 11 into 11, which is a nothing but a 121. So basically 121 whole squares are there, right? Indirectly, yes. So if there are 1, sorry, 121 squares in total, so basically how many... Uh, four squares it is having so rather than that i think it will be better if we count it directly right because i think we might do some silly mistake with that right yes so anyway let us uh, count it directly guys okay yes so let us count so basically how many will be in this line guys uh? so in a single line there will be 11 okay okay so in a single line there will be 11 so how many lines are there so 
there will be zero uh, eighth line sorry first line second line third line fourth line up to twelfth line so basically there will be a total of 13 lines right so in total horizontally there are 11 into 13 the same concept in vertical also right yes so what is the sum guys 11 into 13 is nothing but 132 plus 132 so now we are done with these lines as well as these lines so now we need to calculate these diagonals right yes okay so when we try to count the diagonals okay so what will be the length guys so the middle guy will have 11 right yes and one step above guy will have 10 and one step below guy will have 10 right yes it will decrease slowly until it comes to 1 so basically what is the summation from 11 to 1 guys so it is nothing but 11 plus 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 right yes so it is a 66 so the same concept above but it will start from 10 right because 11 i have counted in the below part so i will be removing it and from 10 it will reduce right slowly so that count will be 56 okay so now we are done with all the squares then we counted these diagonals also so nothing is left out right yes so it is 55 sorry 55 plus 66 plus 132 plus 132 so the final answer is okay so did i count it correctly guys just give me a second so it is a one okay and one more important thing which i forgot is these type of arrows will also be there right so this also i need to multiply into two so basically in this way also it will be there right because in between these two guys also the maximum distance is one only right or is it is not is that not so yeah it is one only 2 2 and 3 1 right yes it is 1 only okay yes okay so let us continue so it is a 66 plus 55 into 2 so that is a nothing but a 242 so 242 plus 132 plus 132 so the final result is a 506 so the answer is a 506 yes it's correct okay yes. so now you got an idea right so basically each and every square is having cross inside and there are total how many boxes guys like that so there are total 121 boxes so the total number of uh, edges in them are 506 so that is the question they asked got it yes so this is an interesting question it's a puzzle type of question guys right yes okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you